This is overt propaganda. This is unchained despotism. It might be a good idea if right about now a critical mass of us start waking up and standing together against every shade of tyranny. <laughs> This video is brought to you by the censorship hating crew over at Night Solar. This brand new ultra bright wireless flashlight with motion detectors makes it super easy to light up all the dark spots in your yard. You can install it anywhere because it's wireless and you never need to worry about buying batteries for it because it's solar powered with a high powered battery storage pack and freaking bright LED lights. Don't spend hundreds of dollars on floodlights. Go to nightsolar.com and get 52% off with free shipping. The link's in the description. Joseph Goebbels, the Minister of Propaganda for the Third Reich, said, Propaganda works best when those being manipulated by it are confident that they're acting on their own free will. A lie told once remains a lie, but a lie told a thousand times becomes the truth. And Harry S. Truman said, once a government is committed to the principle of silencing the voice of opposition, it has only one way to go, and that is down the path of increasingly repressive measures until it becomes a source of terror to all its citizens and creates a country where everyone lives in fear. And that's what we're seeing today in spades, not only in America, but in Australia, in the UK, in Canada. Governments are taking increasing repressive measures. This is a video of a guy in Australia who just wants to step outside of his apartment complex and get some fresh air. And here's how the Australian authorities respond to him. What are you doing, mate? I'm um, trying to go out for some fresh air. I'm not allowed to go. So put your mask back up, please, mate. Mask on. Mate, put your mask on. You've got to go back inside. I'm trying to go out for some fresh air, man. Yeah, I get that, man. But it's been seven days, man. Literally. Yeah, but you're meant to be inside. Right? It's not safe for you to be going outside. I'm negative at the moment. Seven days. He's been locked in for seven days where he lives by the police. Think about that, guys. This isn't quarantine. I know they call it quarantine. This is literally house arrest. Holding somebody against their will in a place they do not want to be. That's 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 fine, mate. I get that. I I get that you said that you're negative, but you can't be walking around the building. You need to go back upstairs. You need to go back to your room. Okay. This is my house. We need to go back to your house. Two. I'm trying to go for the fresh air. Literally, I've been stuck in the house for seven days now. I know. And I'm negative. You guys actually, it's going to be more cases, literally. There's positive people here. And I get that you're saying that you're negative. But the whole building, regardless of who's negative and who's positive, is in lockdown. So you guys are even to taking the people that are positive out of the building. This building is in complete lockdown. No one's going in or out. You guys allow a chick to go for a day every day to go for a walk. I, I haven't been here. Every I haven't let day, anyone out. Every day I see a dog coming out here with the, with the dogs to go for a walk. And you guys announced in the, the, the Daniel government, they announced that you can go for supervised walk. So I'm asking three officers to come with me. I just want to go for some fresh air. You're not allowed outside, mate. That's the other instructions. Mate, where are you going? Don't go out the other doors. No one. Don't, go out. don't touch me, bro. Don't see, go out, mate. See? Go back upstairs. You're being told. You're being told. Go back upstairs. Back upstairs, please, mate. Come Excuse me. Yeah, I want to go for some fresh air, man. Let's They're keeping people locked down in their apartment complexes by force. They're not allowed to leave, guys. Yeah, you guys can come with me if you guys want to. We're not, but you're not allowed outside. Our instructions are that you can uh, go back that, to your house. Why did they announce that you can go outside? Oh, just giving you our instructions. Our instructions are. You can talk to the DHS people. You, put your mask you can, on, you can call you can, DHS. You can call them on the phone, okay? The problem is that you're not allowed to leave from this hotel. You can follow the door, go, 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 go. Let me just go for fresh air. No. No. Outside there. No. I'm going to stand no. right there. No. You have to go back up. I'm going to stand right there. there. I'm going to stand right there. Right there. Right there. No. Come on. Unfortunately. Can you guys not touch me? Am I touching you guys? Am I touching you guys? No, no, but you're not listening to us. You're not listening to instructions. You listen to us? Bro, I've been listening to instructions for seven days. I don't want to We're still giving you the same instructions. If a non uniformed individual, a non, somebody who wasn't a police officer, 
did this exact same thing. This, these exact same actions of keeping a man from walking freely from his apartment to the outdoor area where he can get some fresh air, that would, be, that would constitute a criminal activity in the eyes of the state. You would go to jail if you kept somebody from moving freely. These people are committing a criminal act by keeping this guy from going outside and getting fresh air. No, you got to treat me like a fucking prisoner, man. We are not. not. Oh, really? I can't walk out like that. Just stay. We're not treating you as a prisoner, but you can't leave. You're on lockdown. You're basically, basically, you're a prisoner, but we're not treating you like you're a prisoner. Just stay outside. They're the direction. I'm fucking negative. I'm negative. I don't care. What if it turns positive tomorrow and you've had contact? We're all being safe. Oh, so you guys are trying to get me positive, right? That's why you guys are going to stay here with people that are positive. We're all being safe. We are here to keep you locked in a facility that has a whole lot of other positive people. We understand you're negative, but we're trying to stop this spread of this virus by keeping you locked in with other people who have tested positive. Makes a whole lot of sense. How are you guys being safe? You'll be safe if you remain in your area, in your room, okay? Go back up to your house, mate. It is Call the Call DKHS. Fab, call me. Call DKHS. You guys, every day you guys tell me the same What's thing. Your what your mask? Mask? Oh, I my my mask Thank you. Here. Thank you. It wasn't. Thank you. Oh, my God. You're not oh alone. Oh, my God, Fab. We all need to work together to get through this, okay? We are not able to allow you to put your mask on. How, 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 is it that every day some girl gets to walk her dogs out every day? Every how day. is it that you're coming the down? The dogs have more rights than I do. And even arguing about this, when you already know what the answer is, mate. Like. Well, I'm not arguing about uh, these people, man. Hey, you know what? Just, just arrest me and take me out of the building. We're not going here, mate. Just take me out of the building. Outside. Take me out of this fucking building. Upstairs, come on. Dude, I appreciate you're in a hard situation. None of us have been in this situation and we don't know what you're going through, alright? I appreciate that. I uh, just ask you to have a bit of patience with us, man. I'm about to fucking lose it, man. I look, yeah? dude, I suggest you, you call, call, call the fucking head in. Call the head in. I can't even breathe. Fresh air, bro. Fresh, fresh air. See, that's the problem is this world is filled with order followers, people who are just doing their job. We're just following orders. We need to keep you locked in place. We need to keep this place on lockdown. We need to hold you as a prisoner, but we're not holding you as a prisoner. It's just all these people walking around with cemented in their cognitive dissonance, following orders. Order followers are the conduit by which most evil enters the world, guys. This, what's happening right here is evil. It's criminal. To lock somebody in place against their will, without their consent, with a whole lot of other positive people when this guy himself is not positive is cruel, wicked, and unusual punishment. And if anybody who is non-uniformed, a non-police officer, did this same thing, they would be rightly thrown into a cage because they had committed a crime. They're leaving. This, this person is being victimized by a gang of thugs who are locking him in his apartment, keeping him, think about it, keeping him from going outside and getting sunlight and fresh air. This is over the top. Fucking corona, man. Would you like to call you some mental health? Yes. Fucking okay. call me somebody. I want to get out of here. Right, I want to at least go outside there. What's, what's your yeah? name? What's your name? What, what's the, you got a mask on. So what am I going to give you? What's, what's your name? Oh, it's my great. God, man. Mask on. What's your name? I'll get you some mental health assistance. I need... The people who have mental problems are saying that they're going to get this guy mental health. You have mental problems if you're keeping somebody from moving freely and going out and getting fresh air. Leave your thoughts about this for the world and the Google Thought Police in the comment section below. If you want to support this channel, one of the best ways you can do it is by liking and sharing this video with everybody you know everywhere you can on social media. It helps me combat YouTube censorship, and it helps me stand against billionaire oligarchs who have an agenda. I'll see you guys in the next heavily censored, shadow banned, and now 100% demonetized video. Okay, before you go anywhere, a lot of people have asked me if they can get a shirt from the store with the design on the back. Let me show you real quick what you can do within the store as far as self-editing your own design that you can put on any shirt, hoodie, mug, phone case, whatever. Pick out any design from the store, then select any item. And guys, there are hundreds of items to choose from. Hats, beanies, bags, buttons, men's items, women's items, stuff for kids, and even pets.
I'll just select this shirt right here. You can change the item color to whatever you want. Hit this little pencil editing tool right here and then click on customize. You can enlarge, shrink, or reposition the design on any item. You can also click over here to the left on designs and add any design you want. Matter of fact, you can put as many designs as you want on the front or on the back of the shirt. Or you can click on text and add some customized lettering. With the lettering, you can change the font, change the font color, increase the size, and you can even bend the text. And check this out. If you want a design or lettering on the back or on the sides, just click on where you want your design or text, click on the design or text tool, or you can even upload your own design. It only increases the price of the item a couple bucks. And you can do this on any item that you select. The store link is in the description and in the pinned comment. Your purchase gets you a kick-ass design and supports the channel while it helps me create more content. Leave your thoughts about this video for the world and the Google Thought Police in the comments section below.